the quick history of TV. First, you have to go back to 1884 with the design of something called the scanning disc, which led to mechanical televisions. Then, fast forward to June 13, 1925, for the first broadcast in the US. Charles Francis Jenkins sent out a 10-minute film of a miniature windmill in motion. He called it Radio Vision. Windmills, now that was hot. And broadcast TV was off and running. First over wires, then through the air to rabbit ears and antennas of all sorts. By 1941, the government decided on a broadcast standard and established all the technical mumbo jumbo that defines the analog TV transmission we still have today. Which all changes as of February 17, 2009. Right. But we uh, skipped some history, didn't we? We did. But hurry it up. Oh. After World War II, TV purchases went through the roof. By the mid-50s, half the U.S. population had a TV. And by 1962, that number was 90%. And broadcasts were still mostly in black and white. Even though color TV was being tested in the 40s and 50s, color broadcasts were pretty rare. But by 1967, all the networks were broadcasting at least some of their shows in color. By 1972, for the first time, Americans bought more color sets than black and white TVs. And the 70s also ushered in cable broadcasters, so more channels. And more guys hogging the remote. A stereotype, but guilty as charged. The late 70s and early 80s brought us satellite delivery of TV and a new rooftop icon, the dish. And most recently, our TVs have gone on a diet. We've moved from chunky tube TVs to slimmer LCDs and plasmas. And as of February 17, 2009, officially across the nation, we get to see the latest in the always changing technology that is television, digital broadcast. And after that, just more and more cool advances. That's for sure. Okay, can I have my uh, remote back now, please? I'll think about it.